Hello guys and welcome to another video with Destination Discovery. My name is Matthew Smith and as usual I'll be looking through another of my travel videos. This time I'm off to the Isle of Arran after an overnight coach from London to Glasgow. Isle of Arran just off the west coast of Scotland. I have a quick tour around the island, didn't go quite as planned as I wanted to, to do and that's fun and pictures of travelling of course. But please do stay with me, watch this video, see what the Isle of Arran's like. It's a lovely place, beautiful and nice people. Um, so, yeah, let's get going, shall we? And let's hear some facts first about Glasgow and the Isle of Arran. Until then, I'll get back to you at the end. Let's get started, shall we? Glasgow is a port city on the River Clyde in Western Scotland, part of the United Kingdom. It is famous for its Victorian and art architecture. Today, it is a natural cultural hub, home to institutions such as the Scottish Opera, Scottish Ballet and National Theatre of Scotland, as well as acclaimed museums. Glasgow is actually Scotland's largest city, despite not being the capital. It is the UK's fourth largest behind London, Birmingham and Manchester. Glasgow's underground is the third oldest in the world. It is known as the Clockwork Orange by locals and is the only metro in the whole country. It opened in 1896 and runs a 10 and a half kilometre loop around the city. This is also one of the only metro systems in the world that hasn't expanded beyond its original route. Glasgow is known as the Deer Green Place. The city has over 90 parks and gardens with hills and lush woodland walks. Some of the top parks and gardens include Glasgow Botanic Gardens, the Hidden Park and Scottish Poetry Rose Garden. Tree stumps are older than the dinosaurs in Scotland. Yep, that's right. 11 fossil tree stumps can be found in Glasgow's fossil grove, which is believed to be around 330 million years old, making them older than the dinosaurs. Glasgow is the birthplace of the world's first ultrasound machine. It was invented by Professor Ian Donald, Dr John McVicker and Tom Brown in 1956. You can even see the original one at the Hunterian Museum in the University of Glasgow. Now on to the Isle of Arran. This island, known simply as Arran, is an island off the west coast of Scotland. It is the largest island in the Firth of Clyde and the seventh largest Scottish island at 432 square kilometres. The island is known as Scotland in miniature as it is divided into highland and lowland areas by the highland boundary fault. Arran has no towns, they have lots of villages instead. Let's do a little tour around the island as it is reasonably small. Broaddick is home to the island's main ferry terminal. It is home to Arran Heritage Museum and Broaddick Castle, which is very popular amongst tourists. The village of Lamlash looks across Holy Isle with breathtaking sunrises year round. Lamlash is the island's administrative hub with the main hospital being here. Ritten Bay used to boast the longest pier on the Clyde. The giant's graves can also be accessed from the village. Ritten Bay has traditionally been known as the art centre for the island. Blackwater Foot is the largest community on the west of the island and part of the area known as Shiskeen Valley. The village hosts hotels, riding stables, golf, tennis and various local retailers and producers. You can also access a long beach along the shoreline. Locranza is home to the second ferry terminal and Locranza Distillery. Locranza Castle is also worth exploring and you can also walk around the coastline from here. 
Finally, Sanox and Corey are twin villagers. They share a village hall, golf course, and lots of community spirit, of course. And that's it for the facts. Uh, let's pass you on to my journey now. And I do hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll join you at the end for some costing details. Hello guys and welcome to another video with Destination Discovery with myself Matthew Smith. On this video you will be seeing my trip to the Isle of Arran which is a Scottish island just off the west coast of Scotland. It's one of the largest of the Scottish islands up there. But first we are now at Purley Station here in South London heading up to Victoria to catch a coach. Uh, we've got an eight hour overnight coach journey from London to Glasgow. Tomorrow morning I'll be starting my trip down to get the ferry to the Isle of Arran before returning in the evening by EasyJet back to London Gatwick. Can't wait to share all that with you. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video if you enjoy it. I hope you do. I'll join you later on. Then Red Hill, Gatwick Airport, Three Bridges, Baldcombe, Haywards Heath, Wimblesfield, Burgess Hill, Athens, Preston Park, and Brighton. Customers for London Road, Baldcombe, Falmer, and Lewis, also home and station. Hello guys, I'm currently outside Victoria Coach Station, I'm waiting for my Flitz bus and the N30 at, in about an hour time, it's 8 o'clock now, 9 o'clock this evening it will depart and it will take me to on a 9 hour coach journey to Glasgow Buchanan bus station. Uh, we've got about 3 stops on route, London Finchley Road, Manchester um, and then almost to Glasgow four hours later after that last stop there um, and then when I get there I've got a tight connection to get a Scotwell train service which will take me down towards the port uh, to get the ferry across the Isle of Arran I can't wait to share that for you but now though I uh, need to focus on this coach join you later on
that's better I'll turn my microphone on this time sorry about that uh, about earlier folks uh, anyway I've now arrived at Troon railway station on the rail replacement coach um, that was just a long term engineer works uh, caused by house fire but anyway I'm at Troon uh, in about 25 minutes I'll be getting a shuttle coach from here at Troon station to Tr Troon ferry terminal operated by the ferry operator itself they organise these uh, shuttles to take people to the ferry terminal um, so the train very terminal, there's only two departures per day in each direction, so it's a very small terminal. Um, there are no facilities at the terminal, only toilets, and that's it. Uh, my, it well, my uh, shuttle coach departs at 7.55, gets in at 5 past 8, the only ferry departs at half 8. I'll join you on the ferry. I'm now on board the ferry, it's a very small ferry indeed. Um, not bad, I got off the shuttle bus uh, and straight onto the ferry, no waiting around. Mm -hmm. Just got my ticket scanned um, and here I am on the ferry. Uh, about half an hour to go now until departure time. Um, at the moment I'm the, one of the only ones on here. Mm -hmm. Cars and vans haven't boarded yet. It's about an hour and twenty crossing. I'll join you later on. So we're halfway across the ferry crossing here on uh, the uh, Firth of Clyde. Um, so yeah, so um, it's basically a smooth crossing. Um, well, the sky is terrific. Yeah. I'm going down to Whitting Bay. That's the first stop. Uh, so I'm going down to Whitting Bay. Uh, I've got about 50 minutes there for another bus. Uh, and I'll join you either in Project or Witting Bay. See you then.
Hello guys and welcome to Ritting Bay. Uh, I've made it from the stagecoach bus here to village of Ritting Bay. Well, I've got about 45 minutes to explore this um, village and then get another bus on towards the north of the island. I'll have two and a half hours later on in Lokanza. Uh, it's got a castle there and a ferry terminal and a coastline. Oh, I can't show you later on. But for now, we're in... Um, Ting Bay, and let's just have a quick look around. Forty-five minutes to explore this lovely village. And that's my time in Ritten Bay complete. Hope you enjoyed following me around this small village. I had 45 minutes here to explore. That is now complete. And I'm currently at the bus stop waiting uh, the bus 323 stagecoach to Blackwaterfoot. Should be the same connection, two minute connection time. Should be the same bus, uh, which take me to Lokanza. Uh, Lokanza is in north of the island. This is the south island. I would have travelled almost the whole length of the island by the time I get there. Um, they got a castle there and uh, a beach and a fade. I believe it's a small cafe. All that I'll be showing you. Um, I've got two and a half hours there, which I know is probably too long, but buses on that side of the island aren't as frequent. Um, I shall join you when I get to La Quanta. Hello guys, so there's been a change of plan unfortunately, uh, it wasn't the same bus uh, and the previous bus I caught was 10 minutes late, so I missed the connection here in Blackwaterfoot, so I've got two and a half hours here instead of La Quanza. unfortunately I really wanted to show you the castle because it was really good um, <coughs> and stuff like that, but unfortunately well, instead I'll have to show you around Blackwaterfoot which isn't as good, um, it's got a hotel, which has got a restaurant inside, local shop, village shop um, and it's got a, um, a takeaway place that actually is really nice I just bought something from there bacon roll uh, really nice um, fortunately um, I'm now here for two and a half hours um, with not an awful lot to do uh, but I'll try to show as much scenery as I can hope you enjoy
terrible over this has been uh, so this afternoon I was on the bus from uh, to the ferry terminal from Blackwater Foot and we got stuck in the middle of mud down on the pavement that's changed just about made the ferry ferry departed 15 minutes late right here and saw the train depart uh, so I've missed these trains have abandoned me an alternative plan uh, which don't get me long at the airport but so I'm back on the mainland I'll be getting the Sashcoats bus to another train station called Swapcoats train from Swapcoats to Paisley and then there's a bus from Paisley to the airport Give me in about half seven that is to part it's like quarter past nine this evening so it's all a bit tight but hopefully we'll make it um, I don't know whether I will at this stage but hopefully I can't afford to miss it uh, so what a stressful afternoon this has been so far After my stressful afternoon uh, getting here, I finally arrived at the Glasgow airport. Time has pulled up. Still in my flight to so at quarter past nine. Sorry, it's half eight. Uh, half seven. Right, it's at quarter past nine. Um, yeah, so I'll join you when I get back to London. I hope you enjoyed my visit to this lovely island. Now it's time for the costing details and see how much it all costed me. Firstly, let's start with the overnight coach from London to Glasgow, but directly with Flixbus, and this came to a total of £32.98, or €38.33. The single train journey from Glasgow to Troon costed ten pounds and twenty pence or eleven eighty six euros. The single ticket for the ferry with Caledonian McBrain from Troon to the island came to four pounds and sixty pence or five thirty five euros. The day ticket for stagecoach buses on the island costed me seven pounds and fifty pence or eight seventy two euros. The single journey from Brodick to Glasgow, including the ferry with the train ticket, came to eleven pounds and fifteen pence or twelve ninety six euros. The unexpected cost of a bus from our Drossen to Saltcoats came to £1.90 or to €21. Euros. The bus from Paisley Station to Glasgow Airport was £3.90 or €4.53. The flight with EasyJet from Glasgow to London, but with eDreams, came to a grand total of £42.43 or €49.32. Food and drink totals for the whole trip came to a total of £55.52 or €64.53. This means the grand total for the whole entire trip was a ripping £170.18 or €197.81. Considering I was just travelling within my own country, the UK, it is quite an expensive trip, but nevertheless I did enjoy myself. That's all I have time for in this video, but until next time, good night.